Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, so my study is uh, mainly management and enrichment utilization, and also must management in captive elephants. And this was the first time in India we were trying a free chain method, free uh, ranging method for uh, must elephants. And uh, I'm Baiju Raj. Uh, I'm the director of conservation project for Wildlife SOS. I'm also an IUCN member for Crocodile Specialist Group. And I work with as an authorized inspector for captive elephants in India with the Animal Welfare Board of India and also working voluntarily with the Wildlife Crime Control Bureau of India. So um, before going to my presentation, I would like to give a brief introduction about my organization. Uh, Wildlife SOS. Uh, it was established in 1995 uh, and we today operate four sloth bear rescue center in the country. We also have two Asiatic black bear rescue center in Jammu Kashmir and uh, Dachinam and Paladam in the state of Jammu Kashmir. We also have a leopard rescue center in Maharashtra. We also have primate and reptile rescue center in Haryana. We also run two elephant rescue centers. We also have a wildlife helpline centers for rescue of all the animals. And recently we signed a new project with uh, the Central India to radio call the conflict elephants and we already done some radio callers. And also we have uh, um, research projects with various institutes like Wildlife Institute of India, Indian Institute of Science, San Diego Zoo Global, etc. So, the objective of this study was to minimize the stress level, stereotypic behavior through various... It's going automatically. Okay. okay. To minimize the stress level, the stereotypic behavior through various uh, implementation of enrichments, and the first time to introduce chain-free method for must management. So coming to objective number one, what we did is scatter feeding in all the enclosures. It went. I didn't touch. <laughs> so feeding enrichment using different puzzles, and green fodder feed enrichments, and then uh, slight change in feeding set times to not uh, give the particular time feeding. Uh, logs for bulls inside the enclosure and logs for uh, the females outside and the tires. Coming to objective number two, uh, for the male elephants, we designed a specialized enclosure to be uh, with, with more strength and uh, introduction of intensive enrichments because we wanted to do enrichments so they should not break the enclosure or do some harmful to them. A temporary cover around the enclosure. We didn't want it exactly people or vehicle passing by to get, uh, they get distracted and charge the vehicle. And water availability and a big pond for them always. So these are the study elephants. Uh, so one of the elephant passed, so we didn't have so this is, these are the, some of the um, case properties actually we get elephants from which are confiscated from the illegal uh, captive owners which are uh, transported to one state to another. So these are all case properties and these are all elephants um, under uh, court cases uh, which was Bola, Maya, Bijli, Rajesh, Fulkali and Chanjal. These are four females and two female, two males were taken as a study uh, sample size. Uh, these are the condition of the elephants come to us. This was an elephant accident, uh, road accident, and the uh, the owners and the mawad thought that is it is already dead. So they ran away from the site, and then people called us, and then we have to go. Our veterinarians have to re uh, revive it and then bring to our center. So his bola is a male makana elephant. Uh, this is Bijli, it's another 30 year old elephant which was also an accident case. This is Maya, another elephant uh, from Circus. This is another from Circus Rajesh, this is another male Tusker. And this is another, it was another begging elephant uh, Fulkali. 
and this is another one more elephant which uh, one elephant died on the road and second one we could bring to our center and she had a ligament uh, tear on the right uh, forelimb so the implementation this all everybody know i don't have to repeat this this is what we wanted to try for our elephants because we in 2010 we set up the first elephant center so we were not exactly knowing what all to do so it was exactly a study so these are the enrichment practices we started doing in our in our centers it's all mainly photos so different um, folders on every pillars and what we did is every folder will not every um, feeder will not filled with the folders sometimes it will be on one and sometimes it will be in another so elephant have to walk the whole enclosure to figure out which enclosure exactly have food sometimes it may be nuts or grains or green folders there is another pipe also we we just installed pipe just uh, next to the enclosure so that they can just put and see and in the pipe also we don't uh, always feed we try to um, alternately feed in the pipe so they can at least come and try every now and then so this is this is bola actually he is a blind elephant so it is very challenging to do any enrichment with him we can't change the enclosure we can't make many manipulation inside the enclosure because he may go and bang here and there so we try to minimize his um uh, interaction with within the enclosure this is bola so we 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 very carefully work with him he's a male uh, and is very moody and uh, after must we take him they are with females it is not like that after must we don't take him they are not permanently in the enclosure we take them for a free ranging or free uh, walk exercise walk you can see the pictures next we take them for a long walk these are the different groups we have uh, every um, because we don't want elephant to be alone in the enclosure so we make them a social group so many elephants uh, many group we have today we have 26 elephants in our center so we have different different groups they uh, make a very strong bond so we have to make the enclosure big according to the central zoo authority guidelines we cannot um, keep them separate so this was a graph um, like through enrichments we did a very good uh, study on that we just uh, measured the time how much behavior there when when the grow, go, go, you can see some graph grows up because sometimes if they walk around enrichment is not there they get a just wobbling and um, the pacing will start so enrichment played a very very important role in our study this is uh, 2012 it was very high then it became down 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 and 2013 the last stage we took it now we are doing it in for all the elephants but this was the result it was always going down with the the more increase of enrichments the stereotypic behavior was reduced this is bola and rajesh so in them we can see the graph sometimes go up because of the must period so that is was different challenge uh, another challenge for us to exactly do for on the must time and uh, how to um, get them work or uh, get them uh, understand that enrichments are there see this is the condition of bola came which i was telling this is the first day when he came to the center he was like full skin and bones so it took a lot of time for our vets to um, retrieve him from his, this most of the people told that this will not this elephant will not survive because he was while rescuing only he was around 50 years old so he is fully blind and this was our first must condition for rajesh because traditional method in india we we wanted to we didn't wanted any accidents in our center so we thought we should take care of these things we had to chain it uh, we had to chain him so this was the condition first we did this was another must during a uh, same uh, same year but we tried to put a rope because we didn't wanted that again to happen so the again we started leaving them free only we conditioned with a bracelet that bracelet what we did is we didn't wanted to completely give elephant an idea because many we we had a discussion with many researchers many people who work with elephant 
so their uh, point was that if you leave them completely that sometimes they may harm or injure so we just wanted to put a bracelet and a light ankle it was only weighing 1.7 kilo so it was a very light so to make understand and to avoid darting sometimes it goes thing that we can hook the ch into a chain so that was our idea so we didn't want to completely take over that so we did that and it was 100% successful and that also we did it changing the bracelet into all four legs with a positive reinforcement so every every week we changed from one leg bracelet to another leg and then the other one so it was always conditioned and they never have any fear of something that i'm going to get chained again so that is how we conditioned our elephants so this is the uh, both both legs you can see uh, they have bracelets for them so because uh, we we roam we we allow them to roam free but still we just keep them in that bracelet to make sure in any emergency because we don't want accidents so next must onwards the third must onwards he was completely free he never had any damage or any injuries inside the enclosure we gave him pond he was enjoying in the pool every time he was with the some or the other engaged and we covered the complete enclosure the before slide you can see we covered and kept it was a green cover complete around so he was not distracted by anyone or any movement of vehicle so this was the condition is in full must this time when he was playing in water and he enjoy himself he had never ever damaged a single thing in the center till now in this many years he, he was rescued in 2010 and every after every must we take them for walk because we don't want that uh, walking or this to be discontinued so these are all free ranging and uh, we just take them for walk in the morning and evening so they go for a long walk and this social group they always want to go everywhere together if they are going in the river they want to go together if they are going in the pool they want to go together so it's a little challenging for managing inside the center because we need to be always and many studies have been trumpeting and all if one elephant just trumpet they will run and come all the group if it is a five member group they will be all together so it's all a little uh, risky to take any actions so this are in the river all the three this is maya Bij uh, sorry chanchal Bij uh, chanchal bijli and lakshmi so these are the different social interaction groups which we take for and he is in full mass and this is coming years you can see uh, the uh, temporal gland and now also he don't do anything we can easily clean his food blood collection blood draw everything can be done only with uh, post, uh, reinforcement and this is bola actually the mahavat is putting medication on his legs with a small wound so in must he is cooperating this much is a very very good thing for us our center so this is this is his treatment as dr yadraj is here only so this is rajesh in a walk after the must period after post must one month again they will be inside the enclosure because the mahavat have to build the confidence that he is able to take him out so after that they take them out for the walk so this was the study yeah, the percentage wise it is very 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 decreasing the the stereotypic behavior when we calculated it was 76 then it became like 8.4 because the percentage when we did it became very 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 minimal of uh, pacing bobbing head or doing any kind of stereotypic behavior because of enrichment and once 
if 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 one day also enrichment or the pattern changes, they show a different variation. So well, that's what all about our study is. And uh, see, actually, because of this, uh, in India we have a traditional practice, but we wanted to try this as a first time in India, and we were successful for this two these two elephants and the remaining four elephants we are trying that they are successful but having said that it is not for all the elephants if we have two elephants now they don't agree to this point or they don't uh, we, we we are very in a different stage to work with them so their the the whole whole behavior changes in the mass period we are just uh, taking all the readings now the next uh, study will be that but that two males are completely different from these two males. So it is very difficult to um, put a endpoint like this method only we can use. So in our center only we have to work on different methods and for taking them for a long walk we use bracelets and also sometimes drag chain, drag ropes we use. So it's still going to continue. Apart from that, the center is also developing for awareness programs. Uh, all India, we are tra giving training for all the Mahavats from different uh, camp, camps and different areas uh, throughout the country. Veterinary officers training is happening in our center. Biologists training is happening. Forest department officers training is happening. And also we have a very good volunteer program where people come and work with elephants. This is our elephant hospital. Uh, so they work with elephant, elephants and walk with elephants. So it's all it's all open to everyone who wish to come to our center this are mahavat training recently happened in our center and this is a veterinary training and the above right one is forest department officers who got training these are the volunteers who walk with the elephants so we take them for walk so it's only with the treat we walk though no chain no uh, ankush or anything we carry for the females uh, thank you uh, for listening to this presentation and uh, I'd like to thank uh, the Forest Department and IEF and also Ms. Nicole Sharp who arranged fund to come and present our work here. Thank you.